Hey guys, welcome to episode seven of Your Best Life. Welcome back. Happy Wednesday. What a week. It has every week. I feel like every week I'm saying what a week. But this was a week. Weather's been up and down. It's a little dreary. Um, but we got to remember to keep our spirits up and be present. And just try to know that spring is here and summer is right around the corner. So I'm excited tonight. Let's do a little housekeeping. As always, you know, the only way I get you guys to watch is with a free Puka gift certificate. <laughs> so tonight we've got our $50 Puka gift certificate giveaway. Because so many people have been trying to do it and it hasn't been coming up, it's on YouTube. So you have to go to Dawn Fitch Official YouTube and leave the comment, hashtag fashion. That's it for today, hashtag fashion. So if you want to enter the contest, and why wouldn't you? Because it's a contest. If you want to enter the contest, make sure to go over to Dawn Pitch Official YouTube and write in the comment only one time, hashtag fashion. And while you're over there, you might as well like and subscribe. I'm trying to build, guys. I'm trying to get all these great things that we're doing in the tribe and in your best life out to the masses. So please tell your friends, tell family, tell your pets, tell your plants to click like and subscribe. Okay, so that's pretty much our housekeeping for today. Um, what else? I just wanted to make sure also that you guys are going back and watching the other episodes and to see if you're doing the things that you that we are learning about. If you are still crushing your goals um, and doing things like that by creating systems, if you're building up your house with plants and things like that, we got, we've got we been doing a lot of stuff, a lot of work, learning and working on the show. So hopefully you're taking some of this stuff in. And if you forget, just go back and watch the episode. And like I said, like and subscribe when you get there. So we have a fun night tonight, as always. I like to always think it's a fun night. So let me tell you what we're going to be talking about today. So tonight, I'm looking at my paper, which is why I'm constantly going like this. Yeah, I didn't memorize this. So I'm going to do a show on memory because I don't really remember that much. <laughs> All right. So Tonight, we are becoming fashionistas, okay? We are learning to save the planet in style, and we're going thrifting. You're going to love this. Like, it has opened up a whole new thing for me. I am all about thrifting now. Like, ask me a couple of weeks ago. I'm like, thrifting? But now that I learned more about it, how it impacts the planet, how it puts some money in my pocket, and how it makes you look cool, you're going to love thrifting. And then I'm doing today a Target haul for you. I went to Target today with my mom and it was amazing. So I'm going to show you how you can style and do some fun things for under $20 at the Target sales section, which you need to be checking every week. And then lastly, we're going to talk today about plant propagating. Okay. That sounds all official and governmental. Okay. Plant propagating. But we are going to learn how to propagate plants and you are going to fall in love with doing this. So that's what we're doing this week, it's going to be a fun show, so there's no need for me to keep on chatting. We might as well get started. I do have to say one last thing. You know we love to run the commercials on here, guys. If you have a commercial, if you have a business or you have a friend that has a business and you have a commercial, send me an email. If, if it's 30 seconds, we can run it here on the show. So we're looking for some great new commercials, and right now, they're all free of charge. So you can run a commercial free of charge on the Your Best Life show. So if you know somebody... Let them know that commercials are running for free here. Um, I think that's it. Like and subscribe on the YouTube channel. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, lastly, and I'm getting ready to show you a commercial about this. We are in the getting ready to start the Be Green Challenge. You're going to love the Be Green Challenge. This is some, a challenge that I created during the beginning of the pandemic. Because guess what, guys? We do not get enough greens in our system. It's just point blank. We want to. We say we're going to eat more greens. We're going to try to eat more greens. This is a really fun seven-day challenge that we're going to do together that is going to guarantee that you get some greens into your system. So you'll see a little commercial about that today. And then make sure you click. I'm sure Danita's out there uh, interacting and talking to everybody. You can click and join the Be Green Challenge. It starts Monday, April 11th. You do not want to miss out. So after this break, when we come back, we're going to become fashionistas and save the planet. It's been a long winter, but summer is right around the corner and it's time for us to go green. 
That's right. Join the seven day Be Green Challenge and learn how to get more green into your diet, onto your skin, and into your drinks. We're going to get you glowing for the summer. Our Be Green Challenge is fun, healthy, and you'll have the habit of choosing more greens. So grab a friend, join the challenge. It starts April 11th. Don't miss it. Let's prepare for a healthy, wonderful summer. Today, we're going into our closet and we're looking at all the little cheapy things we bought from Rainbow Shop. And we're going to talk about the impact of buying those cheap things and how we can save money, buy better, and look amazing. It'll be quick. One cheap dress. 80% of those clothes are made by women and children in horrible conditions. Sometimes they have dye on their skin for a lifetime. It also takes 700 gallons of water to make one shirt. The factories are unsafe, they pollute the environment, and they sicken people. And 68 pounds of clothes are thrown away on the average by each American a year. And 85% of those wind up in landfills, which cannot be broken down because cheap clothes, polyester and nylon, actually have petroleum in them. So they just sit in the landfill and make waste. So we all know the things that we should do. Donate your clothes, swap them. We don't want them going into landfills. So put them in a bag and donate them to Goodwill or to thrift shops or shop with your friends and purchase quality. If you purchase something quality, you'll keep it longer and you won't throw it away. What we're really focused on today is thrifting and upcycling. Okay, why you should thrift shop your clothes. You're gonna save money. You're gonna find unique things. It's a different surprise every time. A lot of times you find things still with the labels on it and you support charities, you fight against all kinds of things that we just talked about, horrible labor conditions, and you look amazing. And then there's upcycling. Upcycling is where you actually take clothes that you have and reinvent them, cut off the sleeves or make a scarf out of it, make a pillow out of it, do whatever you can so that this piece of clothing does not wind up in a landfill and can make something funky and new for you. Now back to my closet full of questionable choices things I can't even figure out how to put on, let alone why to put them on. Okay, this is going right into the donation basket to let somebody else figure out what to do with it. Yeah. But this one, I actually like this romper, but the legs just never looked right. So I'm gonna try what we just learned and upcycle it. Let's see. Now, I am no expert, and I am not a seamstress, but I figured I'd try to see if I can just cut the legs off and maybe make it into a romper. I've still got some fixing up to do and trying to see if I can cut this right and put a hem in it, but I just wanted to see the basic idea, and boom, I got me a little romper set. Now, what do I do with the extra part, the legs? Yeah, I'm still working on that. Let's go see how a real shop does some upcycling. So I decided to drop by House of Bath, which actually stands for Born Again Vintage. Very cool. They're located 359 Main Street, East Orange, New Jersey. I was able to talk to Bridget and Cortez Artis, who are the owners, and they have some amazing stuff. You want to talk about upcycling? This is what they do. I found so many pieces that were put together from other pieces to create something that's totally unique. And the prices were amazing. I mean, this is what true shopping is, finding vintage pieces that everybody and their mother aren't going to have. You're going to look unique, stylish, and fabulous. And the owner, Cortez Artis, is an amazing artist. So next time I go, I'm going to pick up a piece of his original work. I fell in love with my first upcycled piece. It had adornments on the arm and she actually took this jacket and sewed silk to the bottom to make it a skirt. I guess I'd wear this over leggings. I don't know if I'm funky enough to pull this off, but I'm gonna try. Cute. I also found a super cute vegan leather jacket that I can just throw on over my jeans. I had such a great time and came back with a $20 bag. That's right, $20, fill it up. So now that I'm home, let's see what I got in my bag for $20. Guys, this is the benefits of thrifting. Okay.
I got five great pieces and a pair of earrings. I am truly bit by the bug. So what's next? I found a really great event held by my friend Samiko, and she was teaching us how to thrift as well. She opened our eyes to really cute pieces that we could find that would accent our wardrobe. Lots of things still had tags. They were brand new. But the key, make sure you only take things that you're actually going to wear so they don't wind up in a landfill somewhere. I enjoyed my time thrifting and came away with another bag of $20 pieces. All right, let's see what I got. I really did learn a lot this last couple of weeks about fashion and sustainability and how we can all do our part and look so much better and save a lot of money. I actually got from this haul, oh, that bag is cute. Oh, I love that top. Yep, a pair of True Religion shorts, probably a little too short for me. And another great romper top. And the piece de resistance, I got some brand new red leather Pumas. So hopefully this showed you how you can actually upcycle some clothes, buy some thrifting, save some money, and do your part to help the environment. When we open our closet, we should be proud of what's in there, know that we're styling, but also know that we are doing our part for humanity. See you next week, Pukalitas. How do you keep your skin really happy? How do you keep it nourished and moisturized? Hookah body oils. It's not just your everyday body oil, okay? You can use this as a moisturizer. You can put this in the tub for a moisturizing bath or you can use this as a massage oil. But what I really love about our oils are the wonderful things that are in it. We've got evening primrose for really extremely dry skin. We've got vitamin E, and we've got that ginger and turmeric essential oil in here for inflammation inside and out. So if you're really looking for something that's gonna really naturally help your skin just evolve into new amazing skin, you're gonna wanna try our Puka body oils. Hey guys. So what do you think about that? I so enjoyed my time this week thrifting and upcycling. And I'm going all through my closet and trying to find all different things that I could cut up, make pillows out of. It just really impacted me. And when I learned about this, the, the way that the children are working for no money to make these cheap clothes and how cheap clothes are filling the landfills, it just really got to my heart, got to my heart. And I have made a lot of questionable fashion choices. We all do. You know, we just go and we buy something cheap because we need something really quick. But I'm learning, as my mom always says, to buy quality so that it lasts and to not spend money on little cheap clothes that are going to wind up in a landfill. But I won't overdo it because I know when I start talking about the environment and stuff, y'all like, okay, Dawn, we're not here yet. So let's bring it back to other things that we can do. So today, like I said, I went to Target with my mom. And I think there's something that we all need to pay a little bit more attention to, which is the sales section at Target, okay? They have some amazing things for 3 and $5. You could spend $20 and redo something in your house. So I wanna show you the couple of things that I bought and how I plan to use them. First of all, this is so cute. Look at these little mini cheese boards. Okay, charcuterie, very big right now. So Target has a set of two mini charcuterie boards for $5. If you are an event planner, if you are someone who just likes to entertain at home, you can style these little charcuterie boards and make a really nice setting for all of your guests. What I love about them is they get individual. So let me show you how I style this charcuterie board. Now, you know I put my little vegan stuff on there. Usually nobody's probably gonna eat my stuff. But I put just a little bit of nuts on there. I have some vegan dipping sauce. I put a couple of strawberries and a lime. Yes, guys, a lime because I didn't have any oranges in my refrigerator today. And then I put just a couple of pieces of peppers and stuff to dip in the sauce. How cute is that, okay? If you are entertaining, someone can come over and then you give them each their own little individual charcuterie boards. Now, I think the Target sales section renews once a week. So this may be something that you want to pick up there. Let me show you something else that I got there today. And then I'm going to talk to you about plant propagating and what that actually means. I think I'm going to actually do that now. Plant propagating is where you take a healthy plant, which I have my pothos here. I know I do a lot of plant stuff, guys, but I love plants. 
Uh, we have our healthy pathos. And what you do is you take a healthy piece and you regrow it so that it gets the, um, uh, oh my goodness, I lost my train of thought. It gets the roots, it gets the roots on it. And then you can replant it right into this plant again. If you, could, if you take a dead piece that's dying, you could take it off to grow the roots or you can grow roots and then start a whole new plant. So if you are a little thrifty and you don't wanna spend a whole bunch of money on plants, you can propagate them. Now, something else that they had at Target, $3 for these cute little jars. In order to propagate your plants, you want a very small jar and you just fill it with water. So these are super cute. Just fill it with water. Hope I don't spill this. I did, but you didn't see that on film. Fill it all the way to the top. You don't wanna use a big jar because you're not gonna cut that big a piece of the plant. All right. Then you take either a healthy piece of plant or a plant, a part that has died. I've cut these pieces already. You cut on an angle and then you put them in the water and they will root. But the thing of it is, they look super cute if you get some super cute jars while you're doing that. And this is a pretty big plant, so I can cut like a lot of pieces off of here. It's not hurting the plant and it's helping it to grow back. So that is plant propagating, but you can also style. Second thing I got from Target for $3 each, they have wonderful jars for your plants. So we're gonna propagate these as well. Got a lot of propagation going on here. And then we're gonna see how we can style these jars. I'll just do two since I ran out of water. I'm gonna do two more pieces. You're not hurting your plant by cutting it. It's gonna grow more. And I'm cutting areas that may be dark and have a little bit of a problem. So what I'm gonna get from this is five new plants. That's super exciting. And when you start to see the roots and they get long enough, then you can just repot them. In the interim, you've made some really nice, cute designs for your house. Now, along the sale area of the Target area, very cute for $5, guys, a plant stand, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put this right in the middle of my sunny area. And I'm not so great at styling, but you can put a couple of plants up here, add a candle, and for five, 10, 15, five, 10, 15 dollars, you've got a cute little area and you've got some propagated, propagated plants. So that's a nice, easy way for you to extend the life of your plants create some new plants, and style an area in your house. Yay! I'm like overdoing it now, but they're really cute. And you can hang them. I actually bought some of these um, hanging mounts for your pictures. And I am gonna mount the back of these and hang these on the wall and make a design. Make sure to look it up, Google it, go to YouTube, go to Instagram. People are doing really great things with plant propagation walls. So you can make something really fun. So that's it, guys. That's our show for tonight. Hopefully you enjoyed plant propagating and you enjoyed learning about styling and upcycling your clothes. Now, I'm getting ready to go over to our board and see who the winner is tonight. I'm going to give you two more seconds to go on over to Dawn Fitchett's official YouTube. Make sure in the comments you write hashtag fashion, and I'm going to see who wins a $50 gift certificate after this commercial. All right, so go over there, Dawn Fitch Official, hashtag fashion. It's been a long winter, but summer is right around the corner and it's time for us to go green. That's right, join the seven day Be Green Challenge and learn how to get more green into your diet, onto your skin and into your drinks. We're gonna get you glowing for the summer. Our Be Green Challenge is fun, healthy and you'll have a habit of choosing more greens. So grab a friend, join the challenge. It starts April 11th. Don't miss it. Let's prepare for a healthy, wonderful summer. All right, guys. Hashtag fashion at Dawn Fitch Official. How cute is that? This is five, 10, no, these were $3. This whole thing, not even $20. And I'm gonna have five new plants from this. So if you have a wonderful plant that grows nice, propagate it so that you can actually share it with friends. All right, here we go. Here's to the drawing. Good luck, guys.
Serene. I know Serene has been trying to win for a long time. Congratulations, Serene. You will get your $50 Puka gift certificate emailed to you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the show tonight. Make sure to share this show with everyone. If you've missed something, you can catch it on the replay at Dawn Fitch Official on the YouTube channel. And make sure to join us in two weeks for another episode of Your Best 